Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use mockup and template PSDs. So, if you've updated your app to the new CC 2017 version, you should see this new start menu with all these different photo or print preset blank documents, and underneath those, you should see these template suggestions with some free template resources for you that are linked to Adobe Stock. However, if you haven't updated or you're using an older version of Photoshop, don't worry, you can still apply these techniques because you can find mockups and templates online. Just Google mockup PSDs or free template PSDs, and there's all different types to choose from from different design resource websites as well. Since I am using the 2017 update, I'm going to show you guys how to use these templates and how they're generally set up with two examples that I got right from the start menu here. So I've got this Polaroid photo template PSD open and whenever you're working with templates like these you should see a, a good one should be pretty well organized into folders and different options for you to turn on and off. And you should also see one layer that usually says insert your photo here or something like that. So rather than just dragging your photo and kind of fitting it in between here, it's actually set up as a smart object for you to double click on and it opens the space that it wants you to put your photo in. This is just a placeholder. So I've got a photo open that I'll insert into this. So I'll drag this document down and I'll drag the photo layer into that smart object and you can position it and resize it however you want so that it fills up the entire document. So now if you want to see your photo inside the mockup, you just close the smart object and you hit save on the .psd file and you should see your changes reflected. So now I can see my photo has updated inside of the smart object. There's also usually different options for you to turn on and off. For example, this one has texture options, so I can turn off the visibility of the dark texture and even the light texture if I don't want all that additional roughness. And it also has options for soft lighting or a blue cast color for you to kind of play around with. I can also double click on the background, which is a color fill layer and then I can change it to whatever color I want. So you can obviously take this and add different elements and layers, but they usually have some cool things for you to play with right within the document, and a good mock-up should be pretty well organized and easy to use like so. So here's another cool one. It's a geometric mock-up, and I'll show you all the different ways you could use this one as another example of what a template might look like. So again, you've got this smart object, which is your photo here. I can double-click on that smart object, and let's take a another photo that I have open and drag it within this smart object. I'll press Command T and resize it so that it fills up the entire document and then close it out and save that smart object so that it updates in the original template. Now this one's really cool. It's a bunch of different geometric overlay options, but how this one works is they've got all these different mask options. So here's one. I can hide it and I can try a different one. They have all these really cool ones with the texture already added on that if I wanted to turn this into a full project it would be a really cool starting point to use. I suppose you could even lay multiple textures on top of each other but it's essentially just a pre-made white overlay for you to put on top of your photo to create this cool geometric mask. So those are just two different examples of mockups or templates. There's different ones for like displaying how a business card might look or a template for showing how something might look on an iPhone screen. But you could find tons of these online, or if you update the app, there's some free ones right within the start menu. So if you guys did like this video, definitely leave a like on it below and check out my channel for more Photoshop tutorials. Definitely feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for all new future videos. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.